Morning, Royston. You should have breakfast again. Morning. Everything okay, mate? What's happened to your hand? Oh, fine. Fell over. What's going on? I've just spoken to my solicitor. She worries about something? No, she seems confident. Oh, great. Why the long face? Well, I'm afraid that the evidence she's relying upon is built on very flimsy foundations. Your worries will fall apart in court. I'm worried that it won't. Don't follow. I cannot abide the idea that I might be freed on false evidence. That's not justice. Well, if you didn't do it, what does it matter how you get off with it? Well, it matters very much to me. What are you going to do? Hope that my solicitor can muster enough legitimate evidence to clear my name. I'm so sorry. It's astonishing she should think I sent those messages to Lauren. She doesn't. She thinks it's highly unlikely, but... Roy, your records span back 17 months and you've only sent 42 messages. I mean, I sent that many just yesterday. I find the process of texting onerous. I know you do. I just... I wish you didn't. Because with such a small sample size, it makes any firm statistical conclusion impossible. But it's still evidence. The cast the slightest doubt, isn't it? It would be. But the prosecution have their own expert. They're arguing that the messages sent to Lauren could have been written by you. How? The vocabulary is different, yes, but weirdly enough, this guy is as much of a grammar buff as you are. You know, flawless punctuation. He sent Lauren a list with colons and semicolons all in the right place. But in the same week, you sent a shopping list to Nina with the same attention to detail. I mean, if we bring it up in court, it could sink us. Who'd have thought pedantic punctuation would come back to bite us, eh? So... All is lost? No, absolutely not. OK, we might not have found our silver bullet yet, but they do not have anything concrete to convict you on either. I know the courts aren't perfect, Roy, but they do not just send innocent men to prison for no reason. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I need to get on. OK, but remember, we also have Bobby's testimony as well. A witness statement can be very persuasive. Really? Well, yeah. You know, without people speaking up, the whole system falls apart. So this Bobby's statement is the only evidence in my defence? At the moment, yes. But it might be enough. But please, try not to worry. OK, any jury will be able to see what an honest man you are. Hold up, Roy. Nice visit, was it? Friends of Summers? Solicitor. How'd they go? Poorly. Oof. What did she say? Uh, I'd rather not go into it. Oh, come on. We can have a spot of dinner. You can tell me all about it. I don't think I will. It's just because the canteen hasn't got any Earl Grey. I'd like to be alone. Oh, come on. You're not doing yourself any good, Roy. Coop yourself up in your cell. Thank you. But no. Good to talk, Roy. Cropper, look lively. Did one want to chat? Sorry? Cops, tips, police. Thank you, Roscoe. When I want an interpreter, I'll ask for one. Police officer wants to talk to you. Why? One way to find out. Come on, our officers don't have all the time at will to chat. Unlike you two. I'm not messing around here. I know. I got that message. You sure you tried? I've asked him three times. He never goes to the canteen. Trust me, I've tried. No, I had enough. I don't know what else I can do. I do. Go on. You can say goodbye to your granddaughter. What? 121, Rashman Street, Blackburn, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. You leave her out of this. You're the one who let her down. I did my best. I gave you a job and you failed. Now, if you excuse me, I need to make a call. No, no, please, look. I'll do it. How? He's a reader. I'll get him to the library. When? Tomorrow. Today, three. I, I don't know. OK, OK, I'll do it. You better get it right this time. What are you going to do, sir? Put him up his misery. Hello? Who is it?
Roy won't come to the canteen. The canteen will come to Roy. He was snagged a bag of ale, Jay. Please, 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 come in. Looks like you're nearly finished. Sorry. Your book? Yeah, I'm struggling to get to the end. No point plugging away in a book if you're not enjoying it. It's not that I'm just uh, distracted. Well, we should get you a new book. Take your mind off things. Real page turner. It's just gone half past two. We can go to the library. Roscoe, I, I appreciate your efforts to raise my spirits, but today is not a good day. All the more reason to put your nose into a new book. I don't make friends easily. And because of that, the friends that I do have are very precious to me. Well, today I have betrayed one of my friends and as a consequence may spend the rest of my life in prison. This was selected by a, another of the few friends I have left and as such, I feel it is incumbent upon me to finish it. Okay. Go on, then. Let's have a look. You won't lose your page. Pass me glasses, will you? Oh! Oh! I'm sorry, what an idiot. Are you okay? My pants are a bit wet, but your book's totally ruined. Hey, come on, let, let's go to the library. The bounce have another copy. Roscoe, stop, please. I saw what you did. What are you talking about? You spilt that tea deliberately. It was, a, it was an accident. No, it wasn't. Oh. Why are you so keen for me to go to the library? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I haven't been honest with you. No. Truth is, I can't read. Well, I, can, I, I can read a bit, but, but I can't read good. Well, you can't read well. So, well exactly. See, you're so brainy, and, and Stu told me that you're like a legend where you live. You're always helping folk out, and I thought you might want to help me out. So why didn't you just ask? Oh, it's embarrassing. A grown man who can't read the funny pages. I'm sorry. I don't like being deceived. Well, I get that. And I was an idiot for not coming clean, but th th the thing is, I I've got this mad idea in my head, this vision for when I get out of here, you know, all I can think about doing is reading a bedtime story to my granddaughter. It's something I could never do with my own kids. But I get it. I know how to take me lumps. I'll see you. I can help. Roy? I understand how hard that must have been to admit that to me. Let's go to the library and choose your book. But, please, no more subterfuge. Lies. Oi, out your way. So, uh, shall we go to the library? After you. No. Please. You have nothing to fear. It's very accessible. I'm sure the themes will resonate with your granddaughter. The father has been wrongly imprisoned. Not really spot the dog. You'll be surprised how quickly you'll pick it up. Right, well, then I'll leave you to it. Are you not coming in? We could read the first chapter together before tea. Best not. I'm tired. Maybe tomorrow. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. No, not today. There's nothing to fear. I'm not scared, all right? Sorry. Oh, forget that, there you go. Roscoe. You forgot your book. Yeah, right. And, um, thank you. It's good to know that I've got a friend in here.
Griff Reynolds. All right, Pedo. 